Okay guys, it's me Imad. So today we are going to interface a real-time clock circuit or RTC with that of ESP32 microcontroller. The compiler which we are using is the VOCV online simulator. So how we can do that? First of all, you need to open Google and write VOCV. This is our VOCV.com, so click on that. Now we got our website open. Now we need to search for ESP32 and you need to click on it. Okay, after this has been done, uh, here it is ESP32 and here on the left hand side it is the coding. Okay, it's the coding window. So first we will go for RTC as well, real time clock circuit which is actually DS1307 circuit okay so this is our okay now we will go for our what is called as VCC because we need to power our real time clock circuit so we need to connect it with the VCC there are two pins STA and SCL of RTC circuit so we need to connect SCL with D22. SCL with D22 and STA to D21. STA to D21. You, you don't have any need to connect ground with that of ground. Okay, it will work perfectly for us. So this is our circuit part. Now we will come towards the coding. So first we will go to white setup and here we will write on the top hash include. Okay, hash include RTC lib dot h. Okay, RTC L I B dot h. Okay, so this is our a library from which we will get all the functions okay all the functions and the things which we need are actually defined inside this rtc lib.h library okay after this has been done okay after this has been done we will con we will define an object of rtc underscore ds1307 okay and why we are supposed to okay why we are supposed to do it because in object oriented programming we need to create certain object here we have a class and class is called as rtc underscore ds1307 okay ds1307 and here we will write ds1307 underscore rtc now what is this thing rtc underscore ds1307 is the name of the class and the thing which is after this okay after this thing after the name of the class it is called as the object of that particular class okay and uh, why we are going to define this object because we have to fetch certain functions from this class okay so so we need an object and here the object is ds1307 underscore rtc after this has been done can we run our simulation so so that one by one we will see either our either our circuit is working properly Okay, now in wired setup, we need to write seal dot begin. Obviously, it need okay, it, it must be there. Okay, okay, now in wired loop, okay, in wired loop or in wired setup, uh, there is one function uh, that is called as adjust. So we will write ds ds ds1307 underscore 
rtc dot adjust now adjust is a function adjust is a function which is actually the part of rtc underscore ds 1307 and this dot operator is actually for fetching the function with the help of object which is ds 1307 underscore rtc dot adjust so here it will in the parameter bracket we will write uh, date time and we will write f okay uh, we will write f and here then we will write after f has been written we will write uh, f and we will write uh, this this and date da te date and then there is a comma again we will write f and there, there must be two brackets and here we will write two underscore and time time okay so here it is our adjust function so it is for adjusting date and time okay so it is this thing and this thing okay so we have adjusted our time now in wide loop we will write uh, now we need to write date time now underscore zero zero now what is this now date time is actually a format format means that it is a type of data representation okay date time now underscore zero zero is equal to ds1307 underscore rtc dot now underscore zero zero now date time okay and now date time format now we, we have declared our variable this is our variable and uh, because we want to store our date and time data inside a variable because obviously if you want to store our data we need a variable and here uh, we have to define the type of that variable and that is actually date time format and dot uh, ds underscore rtc object dot now underscore zero zero is actually our i think that uh, it must be dot dot now okay dot now okay wait let let me let me run it out and it can give an error because it must be rtc dot now okay yes rtc dot now and here they also used to say that it is ds1307 underscore rtc dot adjust dot adjust and then date time f okay okay let me comment it out let me comment it out okay so 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 we have to go for our hash include or dc uh, lib dot h okay our library is okay hash include then we we have written rtc underscore ds 1307 then we have written ds 1307 underscore rtc and it is working fine We have to wait because it is an online simulator and okay, now it's working it is working now okay so now okay uh, we, we will now write seal dot print which is actually for representing the data on serial monitor so we will write serial dot 
print now underscore zero zero okay now underscore zero zero dot hour okay dot hour comma dec okay now what this function will give us now now underscore zero zero okay now because this is a variable and it has it is calling this function it is getting the value from this function and then it will fetch the value of our from all this format okay okay like all the format that is date and time has been stored inside this now underscore zero zero variable and now we are uh, just going to fetch the our value from this variable and in the form of decimal decimal format okay and here we will write uh, colon okay serial dot print colon and this okay and here we will write minute okay m i n u t e okay serial dot uh, now dot minute underscore d e c and uh, after this has been done we will write serial dot print this okay because uh, we want to represent them in the form of clock okay now let's wait for okay okay we we have to wait for like 1000 seconds and this thing okay we we have to go for adjustment of our time so we will go for ds1307 underscore rtc dot adjust okay okay and adjust the time f date f underscore time okay one more thing that we also need to write uh, uh, ds1307 underscore rtc dot begin okay we also need to write this thing but uh, let's see ds1307 underscore rtc dot dot begin okay this is in order to like initiate okay dot be okay the side uh, date was not declared in this scope so okay wait uh, let me let me comment it out and now we will go for our okay now it is giving us a little bit okay uh the because it is 11 23 pm here so we will write uh, seconds you'll dot print and seconds here second comma dc okay 
and uh, after this has been done we will write serial dot front and because we want to shift the control to next line okay so we will just write here and hopefully it will work perfectly for us okay now you can see that our real time clock is working perfectly so you can even display the date uh, if you want uh, by writing day and month and year okay now underscore zero zero dot year so in this way you can simulate your rtc circuit with that of esp32 so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe